Today's social media segment is brought to you by Alford and Associates for all of your insurance needs. CIS, Cardiovascular Institute of the South, the highest quality cardiovascular care available. Barker Honda, the Barker family tradition of quality. and welcome to this edition of Bayou Time. I'm your host, Keith Weissite, licensed clinical social worker with Terrebonne Home Care. Very glad you're joining us. However you may be joining us, we appreciate it very, very much. And you know, we like to get to you information as soon as we get it. One of the best ways to do that from Terrebonne Parish Sheriff's Office is Blake Tabor. Blake, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. All right, man, we appreciate it. Uh, we've got a lot of things going on. We know holidays coming up, 4th of July. I want to talk a little bit about fireworks. Let's talk about this narcotics arrest that you guys had. Absolutely. So this is one that we're um, pretty proud of. Okay. Um, pretty dangerous individual, uh, the potential for that being taken off our streets. So again, in June of this uh, year, we began receiving some information anonymously in reference to some illegal based narcotics activity going on in the Village East neighborhood or okay. subdivision. All right. um, at that point, that led to a joint investigation between our narcotics division and also the Louisiana State Police CID Region 2 office here in Homa. Uh, I don't get a chance to talk about these guys very often, but incredible group of individuals okay. and, and wonderful resource for our office. Wow, nice. Um, so ultimately that led to um, some information being developed in a traffic stop for a Aaron Anthony Lampton, who's a 43 year old male. They encountered him last Thursday in the 100 block of Roy Street during a traffic stop. Of course, you see him photographed here. Um, once agents and authorities came into contact with him. He tried to discard some illegal narcotics okay. uh, without being discovered uh, to avoid detection. But of course, he was taken into custody and those drugs were quickly found. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, those circumstances and additional circumstances led to a search warrant for Lampton's residence in the Village East neighborhood. Of course, we're not giving a, an exact address on that residence. Okay. Uh, but ultimately, that led to the discovery of distribution amounts of fentanyl-laced heroin, mm. numerous items of drug paraphernalia consistent with the distribution of narcotics, seven firearms. Yes, wow. you heard me and, correctly, right. seven and, firearms. And pictured here. Uh, and you see them photographed there. Um, ultimately, one of those firearms was determined to be stolen here locally, and along with close to $3,000 in cash. Mm. Um, ultimately, Mr. Lampton was arrested on charges of possession with intent to distribute CDS-1, illegal possession of a stolen firearm, possession of a firearm by convicted felon, obstruction of justice, transactions involving drug proceeds, possession of drug paraphernalia, uh, along with some traffic charges based on that traffic stop mm -hmm. and a multitude of arrest warrants related to narcotics-based distribution. He is currently incarcerated at our complex uh, on a $504,500 bond by local judges. Wow. And again, uh, you mentioned it already, but just one of the things we talk about so often is the value of teamwork. Absolutely. Being able to work, you guys and uh, being able to work with the state troopers here with Troop C, just really making a difference where we did this quickly and get Scott off the street from a traffic stop to there's drugs in the area to uh, communication with both teams, getting a warrant and figuring out uh, and look, what's this, happening. Absolutely. And and this is a total collaboration. You know, it's it's our office. It's HSI, Homeland Security Investigations, it's Louisiana State Police, it's Homa Police Narcotics. Mm -hmm. You know, what's great is that this group of individuals, regardless of what agency they've worked for, have worked so closely with each other agency and each other agent that it's become this huge family. And, mm -hmm. you know, we can't speak on how incredibly uh, grateful we are for all these collaborations and what an impact it's making in our community. But I would be remiss if I didn't say this, and we don't talk about this enough, but the information that is coming from uh, anonymously, but from mm -hmm. our community, you know, there was a time where this information wasn't so free flowing. Mm -hmm. um, and for whatever reason, it could be a multitude of reasons why this information is being given. We understand that. Um, but this information is coming into our office and it's making a huge difference in our community. Yeah, and one of the ways that people can do that, we talk about uh, Bayou Region Crime Stop, uh, Crime Stoppers, Bayou Region all the time, 1-800-743-7433, uh, or on the Crime Stoppers uh, 
website, crimestoppersbr.org, or the Bayou Tips app. Uh, people can be eligible for $1,000. And thank you, Jason, uh, for placing that up there. Uh, <clears throat> like you said, doesn't matter why they're doing it. We're just glad no. that they are. Glad Absolutely. they're doing that. Um, and now we've got 4th of July here coming up, and, and you guys always want to make sure that people are being safe and thinking through things. Uh, give us the specifics about what we should uh, know and expect. Absolutely. So, you know, this year is going to be business as usual when it comes to 4th of July. Um, our, our local laws and, and everything and ordinances have kind of remained in place. So, again, on July 4th, fireworks will be allowed from dusk until 10 p.m., um, and I'll say that again, 10 yes. p.m. 10 p.m. Um, it always seems like this is a very hot topic on when fireworks uh, should start, mm -hmm. which it doesn't seem like is a big issue. Right. It's it's stopping when they them should stop. when right. they should stop. And, you know, again, this is about personal responsibility and adherence to the law. Right. You know, we can talk about safety tips all day long. It's about doing the things that don't need to be done. Right. If you're going to be consuming alcoholic beverages, please do not meddle with fireworks. Right. Um, it could be incredibly dangerous. I could give you a thousand examples of, of bad things that could happen. Right. Um, again, pay attention to children. Yep. Um, you know, again, my kids love sparklers, those types of things. Minor fireworks are fantastic for them, right. but they should not be handling fireworks without the supervision of an adult. Yeah, and sparklers uh, burn at 1,200 degrees. I just, that's absolutely, a lot. Absolutely. And, you know, again, preservation of property. Right. You right. know, we don't want to be aiming fireworks uh, irresponsibly at people's cars or homes. Um, because or each they other. have or at each other. They have to go boom somewhere. Right. And so if we can keep those things in mind, then I think everybody will have a safe and happy holiday. I agree with that. It, ultimately, I also want people to realize that if we're all doing this from dusk till 10 and we stop at 10 like we're supposed to, it allows for very sensitive animals. It allows for veterans or people with PTSD to be able to manage what they need to do. And so if they're coming back home at 10, 10, 30, 11 o'clock, expecting no more fireworks, and then we have somebody that's kind of breaking the law with that, it can make huge differences in addition to the dangers. Absolutely. And it also allows us to direct our, our resources to crimes that need to be taken care yeah. of. And we're always appreciative of y'all doing that. Yep. Blake, thank you for as always. Thanks we for appreciate having it. me. All right, guys, that'll do it for this particular segment. But don't go anywhere. A lot more Bayou time when we continue. When you have a history of greatness, the real challenge starts after the finish line. Oh, I can taste With the heart of a lion. When victory alone isn't enough, you chase something greater. No matter how difficult the path, on the dirt, in the sand, and beyond. The new 2024 Ridgeline Passport and Pilot, part of our most rugged trail sport lineup yet. From Honda 